angry guy here. And today we're discussing why men no longer trust women. And that's horrible for the future of women. Men no longer trust women, and that's horrible for the future of women. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Nationality. Uh, Mexico. If I wanted to take you on a first date, would Cheesecake Factory work? Yeah. I mean, I don't see why not. What would be an absolute deal breaker? Nothing really. I mean, just going on a car, cruising around, that's fine with me. Like, I don't mind. I don't need to be taken to an expensive place. Like, none of that matters to me. A real woman doesn't care about that. I look for it's not money, it's loyalty and, you know, respect more than anything. But so many women now in 2023 say $500 minimum. I always say this, there's men that are cheaters, there's men that look for specific things in women, like there's women like that as well. There's women that just are with certain men for money, for certain things and, you know, that doesn't mean that every man or every woman is the same. You just got to find the right one. So she says some very interesting things. And, you know, she seems like a decent person. However, unfortunately, the trust is gone. After M2, M2, as I said before, was the final nail. It was the final nail. And that's it. The relationship between men and women has expired. It is no longer of this world. It will never return in Western society. Uh, to be very clear, the fallout from M2 is so severe. There are a lot of men who deleted themselves after M2 or as a result of M2. There are a lot of men who ended up incarcerated as a result of M2. There are some men who've lost their entire careers as a result of M2. And they never got that career back. This is the reality of things. It's hard to hear, but it's the truth. M2 has had a devastating impact on society and the relations, the relationship between men and women. It was already bad before M2. And at M2, that was it. And there's no coming back. And unfortunately, women don't comprehend this. You know, I forget. I read this in a comment recently. I don't know if it was Al Pacino, or, but one of these guys, they basically said when they write a female character, they basically write them just like men, except without reason, except without reason and accountability. Women are trying to pretend that, you know, oh, all you have to do is find someone who is reasonable, someone is who's who's accountable. It doesn't exist. You see, that's that's how it is. Women will try to appeal to a man's logic and reason because men are reasonable people. Women don't possess those same talents. It took me a while to really comprehend that women don't have an off switch. Women cannot come down from that cloud. It will keep on going to infinity and beyond until there is nothing left. Most women will scorch the earth and then wonder how did they end up there? How did the earth end up getting scorched? It's like, bro, you just did this a moment ago. You're literally standing where you scorched it. How do you not remember this? And they'll just stand there like, and, and say nothing and act like they don't know what happened. And their first thoughts will be men or what are, or God or some form of natural disaster, but definitely not them. They, they themselves couldn't have done this. They themselves could not have inflicted this upon the world. I know, I know you guys remember I talk about the story of Adam and Eve a lot of the times. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. The so-called snake was a poor little critter that Eve saw and blamed for her transgressions. And when God said that he cursed the snake to stay on its and slither all the rest of its life, that's absolute nonsense. In reality, if that story is actually true, what ended up happening was God didn't actually curse. He basically said that it will remain exactly as it is. Men no longer trust women, and that's horrible for the future of women. Because without trust, you cannot have a relationship. 
You cannot build a foundation without trust. Women don't comprehend this and they don't care. It's like Myron often says. It's, it's just like Myron often says. He often says it and it's true. Women just want to get their bag. That's all they care about. All they care about is money. And having as much money as possible. And they'll just keep up. Guys, they're, they're out here right now. All right? Putting up hashtag trillionaire gang. Saying that they want trillionaires and they deserve trillionaires. What they're trying to convey is that there is no man on earth that can ever make them happy. No man can ever make a woman happy. There's no such thing. Because the guys that women actually love, they take them from highs to emotional highs to emotional lows. Any man who is reasonable, rational, and emotionally healthy knows that it's best to avoid what modern day women have become. It's best not to get involved in that because you don't want to become like the kinds of guys that they love. These guys who just run around and do nothing. They contribute nothing to the world. They take everything from the world. As men, we give so much and we receive so little. How sad is Father's Day? Where on Mother's Day, mom gets flowers, jewelry, chocolates, dinners, expensive perfume. I mean, it just goes on odd vacations. Heck, she might even get her rent paid. Cell phones. Oh, it's Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day. Get mom a new iPhone. When Father's Day rolls around, they don't even call it Father's Day anymore. They say dads and grads. Or they're like, that's what they call it now. They don't, fathers don't even have a day for themselves anymore. They call it dads and grads. Okay? Celebrate a dad or a grad. And here's what you should buy for dad. Buy dad a tie. He can wear it while he's going to work. Because that's what he's there for. Like, have you, have you ever noticed it? Like, what do what do men get for Father's Day? They get things that they can use while they're going to work. Because that's all they exist for, is to work and provide for people who don't even care about them. It's amazing. It's like, what, you don't think dudes like jewelry too? You don't think dad would love a pair of earrings, a new pair of earrings? You don't think, think dad would let, would love that diamond, love that, that gold necklace? No, I'm, I'm just being so serious. I'm being so serious, you know? What's up? Dad could really use a new PlayStation, could use a PlayStation 5 or a Switch OLED. Dad would love a Steam Deck. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm furious. Dad, what, you think dad doesn't like chocolates too? Dad loves chocolate. You see, this is the same. This is what these women are going on about. Like, oh, men want the prince's treatment now. They want the prince's treatment. No, what women want to do is continue the bare minimum where basically men are disposable providers and women are where these women are these entities that, that can do no wrong. Guys, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And I've said this before and I'll say it again. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. Without, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. A country without its men is not a country. It's a wasteland because it's open and ripe for the pickings. It's open and it's ripe for the pickings. Whenever a crisis breaks out in a country, they allow the women to flee, and they and they say and they say that the men, eighteen years and older, sometimes seventeen, are not allowed to leave the country, because if the men leave the country, there's no more country, because a, because a, a lot of men, their instinct is just to flee, pick up and leave. And if the men leave the country, they'll listen, they'll even say, "Well, we won't force you to to uh, to, to support to, to stand up in the conflict, but you're not allowed to leave the country. The men are not allowed to leave. The women go to other countries in the world. The women get to take off, and they have to stay there, even if they are not going to do to remain in the country. Why? Because a country without its men is no longer a country. That's the reality that men have always lived in. And it's going to have significant and just terrible implications for women. 
we're, we're, I mean, you're seeing it already. You know, as the economy gets worse, as things become become more more difficult, as life becomes more difficult, women are going to struggle, and they're going to see the consequences. Walk away from Western society. What do you guys think regarding this? Do you agree that men no longer trust women, and that and that it's horrible for the future of women? Also, guys, if you're enjoying my content. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, never miss another video again. And like the video because it tells YouTube you're enjoying the content and you want to see more of it. So YouTube will show you more of it. Let me know if you what you guys think regarding this. If you agree that men that men no longer trust women and that it's horrible for the future of women. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away. And cheers.